You think you're <laughs> funny, do you, mate? It was an That's accident. That's a good one. <laughs>so you can sort of see the difference, that's the actual 1J one and that's one out of the 7M, it's just a bit long, so yeah, Adam's just going to modify that a bit yeah, i got a grinder <laughs> a grinder and some multi-grips that's right yeah which means he's even got a spare one for when it shoots out of his multi-grips yeah and he loses it on the floor <laughs> yeah, correct so you're going to sell the uh, standard 1J twin turbos and stuff off and try and get some money back, eh? Probably, yeah. I think so. I don't know what I'll get for them. I haven't even looked at getting that far. I've just got so much shit to do. Yeah, I've got I to go back to work you. tomorrow. Which is gay! So Adam's back to work tomorrow, so it's probably going to slow down this build a little bit at this stage. Fuck yeah, it's going to slow it down. So I'm going to get home from work and I'm going to be like, Oh, I need a bit! And then just have tap, 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 tap. That's going to be the rest of the week. Uh, which is kind of disappointing. I was meant to have more time off, but apparently not. Can't do it, so. Yeah, well, we'll That's get life. there. We'll get there. Yeah. All right, so we're here at uh, Martin's place. Fabricator Adams to start fabbing up Marty's dump pipe for his petroleum. Martin's going doing new derby. And uh, Adams is doing the dump pipe. Martin's just inside. Uh, he's got a sandblasting cabinet, so he's blasting Adams cam covers for him for his 1J, so that should be sweet. They'll be nice and pretty and beautiful and new. Won't they, Adam? Yeah, they're meant to be painted though. Right <laughs> What's going on here, Martin? Oh, fucking. Putting some nice fucking pipes on a fucking kettle. To make some boiling water. Yeah. Gotta make a screamer pipe for him and he's not gonna know. Even though it's internally gated, I'll work it out. And then he'll draw it and be like, ah! Oh, sash. Jeez. Trying to aim it like sort of like not straight down but like to the left to clear the rail but also not hit big floor. Later. Fucking hell can't look at your bloody hair. That's sick eh? It's so long I haven't seen it out in so long. <laughs> Alright, we're uh we're back here in Trendy Adams Garage. Apologies for this episode sort of being all pieced together with different <laughs> parts of why I'm here. Um, obviously with me being doing my own build it's pretty hard for me and Adam to sort of catch up and so for that reason I also apologize for not getting heaps of actual build content at the moment for this build and more so just little updates it's yeah it's basically just because I'm super busy with my own build so and I don't really have enough camera gear to just leave Adam a camera all the time so anyway just an update again on this episode Adam's been a busy boy he's been busy shopping and cleaning and painting um, not really much has happened since uh, the earlier, <laughs> the last scene where this episode is going to be halfway through an episode. But, he's got his uh, cam covers have been blasted as you saw 
just earlier. He's also painted them now, wrinkled black. I'm not going to move them because they're on Adam's S14 bonnet and I don't want to scratch it. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, that's so fine. Then... Who cares about it, you know? It just sits here. It's an ornament. It is. Wasn't it just in uh, the last episode of uh, Liam's Skyline you were, you were talking about his S13 being an ornament? <laughs> Fuck off. And here we are. Well, that's what here we are. For. That's why they, yeah, fucking crusaders and skylines are the way to go. Sylvia's are just fucking ornaments, apparently. Because <laughs> they don't work. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I pulled all the baffling out, blasted all inside it, cleaned it all, resealed the baffling, and did a bit of a shh, shh painted it. Uh, yuck. They turned out all right, not the best. Timing covers are just shit, and I painted them just to make them look slightly better. Like, they got broken tabs and whatever but that'll do that turned out all right too so it should look somewhat nice oh look at that rbs take note you're only uh 30 years late but jz's have got venting over the cool packs Whoa. Woo! look at that, look at that. how cool is that venting on the cool packs from factory wow man it's like someone thought about that <laughs> good one nissan yeah well done nice. uh motor's just the same as it was when you saw it earlier on this episode it's got that on it it's got that. Oh, I got timing back in. Gotcha. Uh, and then I put the gears on and, and actually torqued those. So Adam ground down the 7M Dow and he ended up finding the one that was missing in the box with the old sump. Genius. This is Adam's box of goodies from Golby's in uh, Toowoomba. So he's got nearly everything he needs. Um, he doesn't, he couldn't be bothered going through everything and pricing because he's lazy. Also, he's obviously got his turbo, which is also eBay GT3076 max beating rods. And he's also got his manifold, which is also hybrid performance NZ. We're all wankers and we all copy each other and we're all doing the same shit he builds. You know, Meadrix actually said that the other day. Alright, so how much was your turbo, mate? $207. $207 on the screen. How much was your manifold? Uh, I think it's like roughly the same as Liam's, like four, 480. 480. Yeah, we'll go 480. 480 landed? Yeah, yeah. Manifold. That's 480 landed, boom. And uh, like I said, Adam doesn't want to go through. Oh, I can. No, I will. Like, oh. Yeah. Oh, that may be it. Look at that. One. Uh. The. Oh my god, it looks so good. So most of Adam's stuff from Golby's is here. He's just waiting on his actual oil cooler. Like the unit, he's got the rest of the kit. The, the, nine, the actual 19 row cooler is waiting for, which is probably coming with his clutch and flywheel, which is also not here yet. But uh, one of his packages arrived today with a lot of goodies, so we'll go through that. And I'll uh, start Adam some stuff up. Add, uh, Adam some stuff up. You think you're funny, <laughs> do you, mate? It was an That's accident. That's a good one. <laughs> right, what have we got here, mate? We've got some aero parts from Dolby's. The adapter, oil cooler. So, like, oh, yep. deleting the factory dog shit and replacing it with this little thing. Bam. And then the cooler goes, the filter goes on there, and then you run your lines from that. Yeah. So, how much was that? I don't know exactly that box. It came as a kit. So, it came with. The two meters of Rados Linos. Yep. It came with the cooler, the 19 row cooler itself. So that's not here, but we'll just use this as the cooler because that's about the same. Mate, size. I don't think that's going to cool very well. I don't think it's going to work. It's, it's probably porous. Gonna get, it's probably going to get soggy. No. It's going to get real soggy and probably fall out. I reckon. No. So we've got Dolby parts. Two 90 degree full flow bends and two straights. So the two straights are off the off this, and then the two 90s go you know the cooler. And that kit was where is it? Oil? No, hurt. yeah. Oh, it's n it's not there, but I'm pretty sure it was like three hundred and fifty dollars, something like that. But three hundred and forty. Right. Well, let's just go through this box of stuff, and then we'll 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 just say how much it all costs because they haven't itemized it on the receipt, which makes it too hard to figure out. Ex ex exactly. Okay. Right. So, look, so total cost for the whole order, which is nearly everything Adam needed, twenty nine ninety nine. 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 Twenty nine nin
2750 including GST. Correct. And then I got, yeah, free shipping because they did a deal. Here. That's not including Turbo Manifold. That came from elsewhere. That's, yeah, that's elsewhere. That's New Zealand and that's China. Well, yeah. that's Sydney, but it's, yeah. So anyway, so that's excluding Turbo Manifold. Now that's just this box of goodies plus clutch and flywheel and cool, obviously. <coughs> not, not a paper cool. <laughs> what else have we got in this bag of goodies? Timing Stickers. built. Timing built, and it comes with cam new seals and shit. But I've already got new Gates seals in racing. it. Yeah, the racing one. So it's three times stronger than the factory one. Mm -hmm. So that's trendy and blue and sick. If I want to run a clear timing cover, I don't because I'm not gay. And this is you know what's funny about this is it's the so you delete your AC and you got to run a bracket which is in here that's not that I'll open right in front of you because I haven't even looked at it yet. It's pretty nice. I like hmm. it. Ooh. So what does it house like an idler or something, does it? Um, it, it supports the um, the uh, power steering bracket. Oh, right, so right, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, because like they're stacked on top of each other. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. So then otherwise it does weird things and flaps around. So you put a bracket on it that looks cool and it is functional. Mm -hmm. And then you get a belt because obviously you're deleting a pulley. And this belt is funnily enough, a Audi belt, like a factory Audi belt is the exact correct length oh. so that's why it's where does it say it somewhere made in Germany and it's all like fucking ink scruff and good <laughs> stuff and then there's bolts to put this I'm pretty sure that's what they're for everything was just all like everywhere so I'm just like piecing together but I'm assuming these bolts are for this so that's that I have the flywheel bolts because I don't want the flywheel to come off because that would be an issue. It's funny though, Toyota 4AGE, 10 millimeter. So they must be the same as 1J, 2J? Oh, that's the pulley. That's for new idler pulley that comes with the AC kit. Oh, this is the wall bro. This is, yeah, 460. Wants to pump. <laughs> so this is a hose that goes, that d deletes the fucking factory oil cooler. Very good. And that's the bit that goes in the side of the fucking block. Ah, uh, yeah, for your spawn. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Tensioner, belt, oh, yep. bearing, nice. spook plugs. Mishimoto low temp thermostat because it's, I don't know, I thought it would be a good idea. <sighs> Engine mounts. And I see over there some sneaky uh, exhaust wrapping. Let's How much that. did you pay for that? That's how it radiator hoses for this motor to suit. That car. And now, how much did you pay for your exhaust wrap off eBay? I got two. Seventeen dollars for both. Oh. So it's like, I think they're ten meters. So it's twenty meters of black wrap, and then they each come with ten tires. So there's twenty tires and twenty meters. Seventeen bucks. So that's a pretty good deal. I thought that was good. Chop lame on that deal. Could have been on there. <laughs> Oh, nice. Did they come from Gobbies as well? No, I got this off eBay. It's right. it's genuine. Like it's. What is it? Turbo Smart boost gauge. Oh, just a gauge. It yeah, the gauge and the, the um. Sender. No, it's the. T boost T. Oh, bleeder. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yes. How much were they? Hundred and thirty dollars, I think. Nice TR forty follow mill, West Gucci. How much of that? I think it was maybe even 100 and, yeah, and 160, 180, one or the other. Oh, and your turbo line kit. Nearly yeah. forgot, how much was that? $109. $109. So probably a fair bit of information to bloody put in uh, this one video. Um, but that's pretty much all the Adam's gear that he needs. He pretty much only has left that he needs is injectors, regulator, and a tune. Radiator. And a radiator. He needs to get a radiator because his radiator shagged. Ah, uh, tail shaft, yeah. So, obviously, that stuff's all probably adding up pretty quick. Still, a few things he's got to get. I'm at like, I think I'm at seven and a half. Mm -hmm. At this point, I think. Plus, I'm selling a couple of. Seven and a half. Is he wrong? Is he right? We'll find out when I edit the video and actually put the price on the screen. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Something like that. Because I also sold some parts off the seven and Actually, yeah. How much. What did you sell at the 7 ohm for how much? I sold the airflow meter, like all the piping and filter, that whole like intake piece of junk. Yeah. Um, the injectors, 
um, starter motor and um, a thermostat housing. Sold that to a fella for 50 bucks. All so, of that for 50 bucks? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm trying to get rid of stuff. So I've got a post cam gears and fuel rail to a dude in Melbourne for 50 bucks. Yep. And I'm selling the gearbox and the timing cover on Sunday for 50 bucks. And I'm selling the exhaust, I'm selling that for 40 bucks. Got to get some photos on tablet. Yeah, well, I don't have a fucking phone still. Yeah, if anyone has a, like a used phone that they can please donate to this idiot so that he can actually talk to people because here he is spending 8k on a car and refuses to actually buy a civilized phone that he can use to access internet things. I've had this for a year. Look <laughs> at how much wears on that motherfucker. It's such a pain in the ass. <laughs> Living in 2004. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. So not a lot of work to report. Obviously, just all these purchases. A few more things to buy. But anyway, this will probably be the end of this episode. Adam's back at work now. So not a lot actually is happening at the moment here. So yeah, pretty much this is me getting here and being like, let's do this. Is the only reason all this stuff is even on this motor. And it's gotten Adam excited now. Yeah. Work is... Yeah. So anyway, Adam hates working. So he's back at work. So yeah. That's what's going on. Anyways, guys, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. More coming, obviously. I'm starting to catch up to Adam with mine now, so that's kind of cool. I'm happy about that. Um, yeah. So, yeah. See you uh, next episode.